It's Wednesday. It's news day. Happy June 28th, 2017. Uh, we're at 8.40 a.m. Eastern, so we're about a little less than two hours away from news, a little less than one hour away from open. Um, given that it is news day, um, EIA News comes out today at 10.30 a.m., um, we're probably not going to see a lot of action uh, after the open. So you know, we open at 9.30, we're probably going to stay wherever we are um, for the, the hour leading up to um, news. Today we might see a drop within the minutes leading into news. Um, so kind of, I would say, quarter after 10 to 10.30. And I believe that might happen today only because this climb that we've managed to make above 44 again really mystifies me. Um, so as you guys uh, know, yesterday I bought a short or a hedge position um, using the HOD ETF at, uh, at a crude price of 44.16. Um, it looked like it would be the top, um, but uh, we ultimately ended up going to a high of 44.44. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't by any means um, do the best possible, so I'm sure some of you guys did way better than I did. In any case, we're sitting below that um, right now, and if we open somewhere around 44, you know, it's it's a it's a small profit or break even. Um, if I did want to get out of the short, but uh, I'm not really in any hurry um, because, as you guys know, my philosophy is it's 50/50 no matter what. Um, so there's no point in taking a uh, break even or a loss um, when I just purchased it because it made sense yesterday, it still makes sense today. Um, API news, uh, we had a surprisingly big build in inventory, um, or at least the API news suggests that that's what we're going to see today um, in the EIA report. Um, and if that is the case, I think we're going to dive considerably. Um, I would say we're probably going to end up below 42 um, and more than likely it was, we're going to see a negative 6% day um, or thereabouts. Um, and I think if that does materialize as a drop, um, we're probably talking about the lows of the season um, because we'd be approaching 40-ish um, and I don't think we're going lower than that anytime soon. Um, so like I said, if, uh, if, that, if that does happen, um, I've got the short position to take advantage of that. And if instead we end up going up, you know, that's cool with me too because I've got the long position um, at 44.34. So that'll start to get into the money. Um, I've got another uh, long position at uh, 46 and a half. So depending on how high we go, I'll, I'll exit one or two long positions and enter another short because I do think we're going to reverse. Um, that's, that's my feeling. Um, you know, if you take a look at how we've climbed up, um, you know, here's the chart going back to, what is it now? Here's the 26th, um, or the 28th today. So just in two days, um, you, you see this remarkable drop um, climb from mid 42s um, all the way up, and that's based on nothing. And then here, this drop that we, that we have um, yesterday followed that followed the sudden climb up above 44 you know this is really in my books this is a blip um, an unsubstantiated blip so we climbed above 44 on speculation that news would be uh, positive it turned out that news was negative and we retreated immediately um, and then Asian markets primarily have brought us back up above 44 and you know to me this just doesn't make sense um, you know it is what it is and I'm not and I'm not arguing with why it is but you know for me if look just having an appreciation for the fundamentals um, I don't think this makes sense where we are right now um, ultimately you guys know I'm a bull so up is what I believe we will ultimately see. I just think that this is too much too soon. So I will be um, happy to exit um, my long positions, you know, for not significant profits if I have that opportunity. Um, but the short position that I purchased yesterday will help me um, minimize a loss if we uh, head the other direction on the way down. 
Um, so yeah, like I said, if we approach, um, I, I think we might get a drop in the minutes ahead of EIA news at 10.30 a.m. as Eastern, um, or even before open. Um, so we'll see. But if we approach kind of, I would say 43-ish, um, I'd probably consider getting out of the short position that I purchased yesterday. Um, because at that point, we have we have pulled back a fair bit. That would be a, roughly a 2% or more than a 2% um, drop in the price of crude. And that might be sufficient to kind of re-energize the bulls um, for, for uh, riding out the news. So at 44-ish, I'm prepared to take, uh, take my profits from the short. But, uh, you know, anywhere above... Uh, 43 and a half. I think I'm just going to keep the short and uh, and just see what happens with the news. Um, like I said, either way, as long as we get a nice, um, sizable move following news, um, I'm going to be selling something, whether it's the long positions or or short position. Um, but uh, ultimately, I'm a bull. I think we're going to go up from these lower 40s. Uh, I just think that this is too much of a climb too soon. Um, based on very little. So I think we will see 42 again. Um, and that's why I'm not concerned about holding a short position at 44-ish. Um, so that's my feeling. That's my game plan for today, June 28th, 2017. I hope you guys did better than I did yesterday with, uh, with the volatility that we got, got to experience. And uh, would love to hear what you guys have planned for today or how you managed to, to play the news um, after it comes out today at 10.30. Uh, use the comments down below on YouTube or over on uh, tradingjournal.ca where you can find my trade information, charts, and portfolio stuff. Um, subscribe to stay tuned to the trades. Give us a thumbs up, and I'll check you guys at the end of the trading session. Good luck. Cheers.